you, Madam Chairman, for the opportunity to uh, testify this morning, also to Ranking Member Inhofe. Appreciate it very much. We had record flooding in North Dakota, record flooding in our state this year. We had it on the Red River, on the Cheyenne River, on the James River, on the Missouri River, and on the Suris River. In Minot, for example, which is on the Suris River, and again, managed by the Corps, we had 4,000 homes that were either completely destroyed or partially destroyed. According to FEMA, it is now one of their largest housing efforts, just in the community of Minot, to get people into uh, housing before winter comes. Uh, I think they said it's something like one, their third largest housing effort after Katrina and Ike. That's just one example. That's what we're facing. In the case of Minot, clearly uh, we're working with the Corps now, not only, and the other agencies, to not only rebuild the defenses, but we need to see specifically from the Corps what their plan is going to be. We're working with Colonel Price, who's the commander of the St. Paul District, on a flood protection plan for next year to make sure that we don't have a repeat in that community of the kind of flooding we had this year uh, if we continue to have the kind of wet conditions that we're having right now. In Bismarck, Mandan, same thing. As uh, Senator Thune just mentioned, as Senator Conrad mentioned earlier, and as others have already uh, commented on, we're in a wet cycle. Now, how the Corps manages the river, in this case the Missouri River, in a wet cycle has got to be different than how they manage the river in a drought cycle. What it appears they're doing is that they're going back to an average year every year, saying, okay, every year is average, and we go from there. But that's not the case. When we were in the drought cycle, at which time I was governor in North Dakota, every year they'd say, well, this is going to be an average year, and they'd let out the same amount of water. But we were in a drought. They needed to conserve water. They weren't conserving enough water. Now we're in a wet cycle. For the last five years, it's gotten wetter each year in our part of the country. But they go back to an average year. We're in a wet cycle. They need to let more water out. They need to adjust based on the conditions on the ground. That needs to be reflected in the master manual when we talk about flood protection. Specifically, this year, the North Dakota State Water Commission is recommending that, that uh, Lake Sakakawea, the largest reservoir we have on the lake, be brought down another two and a half feet. I'm submitting my written testimony, and I have specific questions in that testimony. But we are asking the Corps to reduce the reservoir another two and a half feet to create more storage capacity. That can be done now without downstream impacts. Who makes that decision? When do they make it? We need this type of accountability. And if they don't let out that additional water now, we need to have them show us specifically how they'll provide protection next spring with the kind of pre precipitation we're having now throughout the river basin. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Senator, thank you so much for your testimony. It was very compelling. And on this